I think that that's the common thing with, cause I I've seen that, that whole scenario too, with like the, you mentioned at the beginning and you just brought it up again with these like massive dashboards, they, you know, they call them dashboards, these massive dashboards. And when I say they, I mean, you know, clients I've worked with and it's, but it's anything, but these, the, these scheduled reports that go out daily that are pages and pages long and the fatigue that sets in from many in the organization um, that because it's so much and so frequent that the nobody gets any kind of value out of it. And if anything, they just, they, 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 they delete it. They ignore it because there's, there's too much and I don't have time to sit there and, and digest it all. I'm just moving on. It, it's overwhelming that it sits in your inbox and it gets to the point where it's so heavy that you don't even open it anymore. You just delete it. Um, you know, going back and tying it into our, our kind of opening rambling, one of the other uh, genres of YouTube that I'm into is is flight. And so I follow a lot of professional pilots. Um, and one of the professional pilots I follow does um, accident breakdowns, um, where if there's a, a plane crash, pub, you know, private or, or commercial, um, he'll break down the, the, the crash and kind of talk through the details on why it happens. And um, I wish I remember the book that I was reading uh, so I could give it proper credit. But in this book, it 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 was all about data and, and making sure it's in the right context and thinking about things in a logical way. They brought up um, a specific airline accident um, that they con one of the contributing factors was um, pilot overload of information. Interesting. That the dashboard that they had in front of him had so much going on that he couldn't focus on the few key measures that could have potentially helped avoid um, a catastrophic accident. And so the argument was that dashboards need to be contextual to the situation. So in this situation where the plane was having specific issues, everything else should have gone into the background, you know, been grayed out, blurred out, and the few critical measures that need to be addressed should come front and center so that that could be the focus of fixing the problem in a, in a timely manner. And again, I think it's it, there's such a good parallel to to business where we, we we have these dashboards as so static and just everything needs to be on there that when there is a problem that either it's ignored because we've overwhelmed the consumer and so they now just delete the dashboard, they ignore it, or they actually look at it, but there's so much happening and there's so much fatigue of trying to view it all that they're unable to focus on the few key measures and really hone in on the actual problem that is happening. So I really love the concept and the suggestion brought up that your, your dashboards need to be flexible and be contextual. And when there's an issue that things need to kind of fuzz out, you know, if you've seen that photo editing or video editing software where you can bring something to focus and the stuff yep. may still be there, but you kind of fuzz it out to force your focus in certain areas. Um, you know, that really gives us a much better likelihood of consuming the data. And I, and I think, and maybe you purposely set it up this way, a lot of what we're talking about here is not more, but less of things. That a mm -hmm. less is more approach tends to put businesses in a better position to use data in a meaningful and valuable way. That the way that we're working now, where again, we have this dashboard with 87 different measures on it, it's so overwhelming that we're simply not using it and it's counterintuitive, but going into these companies and saying, let us help you kind of uh, get rid of your hoarding uh, problem you have here. Let's just focus on a few key things. It instantly transforms the value that they're able to get out of their, their analytics programs. Mm -hmm.